stay tuned to the end of the video to see what I think is chapter of the day between Naruto, One Piece, and Bleach, but One Piece 669, so for the most part, this chapter was very informative up until the end left me wanting, like, next week way more than this week because basically all right we found out exactly how i guess sanji and nami's body zoro and brooke were knocked out and a lot of people called it and it's safe to assume yeah because like look what happened the yeti cool brothers they got knocked out real quick and basically how they um knocked them out was they used some sort of sleeping drunk gas and i noticed in this arc oda has been using a lot of like um gadgets and different things because I think since this is involving more Vegapunk and Vegapunk's ex-partner, he wants to use a lot of different like um inventions and whatnot, make it more so that it kind of relates to the whole Vegapunk theme and whatnot. Because you see there's sleeping gas, there's drugs that these babies are addicted to, there's all sorts of things. And um, another informative thing I think in this chapter was definitely we learned that the slime thing was actually, I guess, the smoke that caused the explosion and the big incident four years ago. And then I guess uh, Caesar Clown, he used that to turn it into this big slime thing. And um, I guess that's pretty crazy that Caesar Clown is that advanced as a... Um, scientists and whatnot. He's probably not at the level of Vegapunk because if he's trying to get Vegapunk's experiments, then he's just not up there. But either way, that he could turn an incident from four years ago into this big monster is pretty crazy. And Law, it, it's obvious that he's a clown now at this point has some sort of um, ace in the hole on Law because simple fact that Law is scared to capture uh, Caesar Clown because when he went with Chopper and he had Chopper in the bag and he told Chopper, I'm going to lure them out, you sneak in there, see what the drugs are made of. And Law is like, Chopper's like, well, why don't you just go in there and capture them? You strong. And he says, well, because, you know, I, I can't, I have a reason or whatever. He says something like that. And it led me to believe that it's most likely what a lot of people call as well. He has Law's crew or he has something that Law just can't attack him because he's going to get, you know, it's going to hurt Law in the long run, or it's just, you know, there's something that he got against Law that Law can't do anything, which is probably the whole crew thing. I think he probably has uh, Law's crew, which uh, Law's hands are tied behind his back, and then especially what Luffy did at the end of the chapter, which in my opinion was the best part of the chapter, was definitely when Luffy arrived with the... Um, with Robin, and they, they come flying, Robin used, I guess, some wing trick, and they come flying on the ship to where Law is at, uh, the entrance to the uh, lab, and Luffy is like, yeah, we're gonna capture you and, and kidnap you and beat you up, and, and Robin's like, that's supposed to be a secret, Luffy, that was the best part of the chapter, in my opinion, hilarious, epic, you know, next week is gonna go down, because as well, we got Smoker and Tashigi is right there as well, so... Uh, it's gonna be freaking crazy, and Law is like, who told you to come over here in a, in a big frontal assault? And I was just like, wow, Luffy, that, that's one thing I love about Luffy, he's so, like, carefree, and just, you know, he's not the typical pirate by far, you know, that's always the, the Blackbeard pirates, you know, those are the pirates that are, like, true pirates. Luffy is a completely different breed. He's funny. He's hilarious. Stuff like this is what's, like, that damn Luffy. You know, he's so freaking silly, but he gets the job done, and I know he's going to put a whipping on Caesar Clown. Again, um, wasn't as crazy a chapter as, like, the past couple weeks, but that ending really got me hyped for 670. I know it's going to be craziness. Law is probably regretting this whole truce he did. Um, not truce, the partnership he did with Luffy because... You know, Luffy is screwing it up, and if Caesar Clown has Law's crew, he's going to dangle it over his head, or whatever he has over Law. And overall, yeah, pretty informative. Nice to learn a couple different things. The cover page of the chapter felt really nostalgic for me. I, I really loved seeing it. I don't know what it was. I believe it was Luffy, and I believe it was Vivi if I'm correct, and it just felt really nostalgic to see, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I really love looking at it, it kind of made me want to rewatch One Piece again, which I've been meaning to for a while, and overall, pretty decent chapter, um, again, a little bit slow paced with the whole explanation with, um, Zoro and Brooke and, uh, Sanji and Nami's body, body and whatnot, which, by the way, I want them to switch already, because it's getting a little weird, and I bet you anything, when Nami and, and Sanji switch, there's gonna be a problem, possibly, like, the whole, remember how Sanji for a while had the nosebleeds, possibly for a bit, Nami's gonna always keep coughing and coughing because of all these cigarettes that Sanji keeps on saying, one more, Nami Swan, <laughs> which is very funny. Again, a pretty decent chapter, what did you think of it? What was your favorite moment? Was it the end when Luffy comes crashing? Was it the big slime explanation? Or was it the whole explanation and flashback of Zoro and Brooke and 
um, Sanji, I keep thinking, wait, Nami, Sanji, Sanji, uh, got knocked out, and, you know, just your overall thoughts of the chapter, but well, that's all I have for this review, uh, I definitely would say that chapter of the week between the big three, uh, goes between either Bleach or Naruto, I'm leaning more towards Bleach because the series as a whole is just improving in leaps and bounds, and while this was an epic chapter, Naruto, Madara Uchiha's just, you know, going crazy, I think that as a whole, Bleach is restructuring in a far, you know, a, a greater thing, which it had a lot to improve on, opposed to Naruto that it was just a couple slow chapters with Itachi and Sasuke. So I definitely say that Bleach gets a chapter of the week. But let me know if you agree. Is Naruto the best? Is Bleach the best this week? Or is One Piece the best this week? Um, and you know, just overall thoughts on everything today. But well, that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Thumbs up if you're excited for 670 because I know Luffy's going to go crazy. It's going to be epic. You know, we got Tashi there. We got uh, Smoker. We got we have Caesar Clown's Laboratory, and it's just going to be awesome. I'm for Neville World. As always, people have an awesome day, and make sure to watch my next video like your life depends on it.